What's up guys? Today's video we are trying new items at McDonald's. I have been waiting for this video all week. I am super excited to try some new items. However, I will say we are not trying as many new items as I thought we would be. I thought we were getting like the new Biscoff items. They have these cheese and herb bites that I thought we were getting. Well, it turns out they're only coming out in the UK and I don't understand how I messed that up. I read a whole article on these new items and I swear they did not say anything about the UK. Like it definitely seemed like a US based article. I also had some of you guys message me about these items and so yeah I'm pretty disappointed that they only came out in the UK but we did still get some new items in the US. So we are going to be trying their new Bacon Cajun Ranch Deluxe McCrispy as well as the Bacon Cajun Ranch McCrispy. So the only difference between the two is one of them has I think lettuce and tomatoes and then the other one has like pickles. So we're just going to get both to see how they are and then I think I'm also going to get some chicken nuggets. I'm going to see if this location has the spicy chicken nuggets. I doubt they will but we're going to ask. And then I also have a new drink from Chick-fil-A with me. So I stopped by Chick-fil-A before I came to McDonald's. This is their new cherry berry frosted lemonade. I completely forgot that this has ice cream in it. For some reason, I was thinking it was more of like a slushy drink because I was actually going to get the Oreo Shamrock McFlurry from McDonald's, but this has ice cream in it, so I don't think I'm going to get that from McDonald's anymore, but this is really good. I did take a sip of it. It is so tangy, which I honestly love because obviously ice cream is very creamy, but this has such a nice flavor to it. Yeah, I love this. But yeah, happy bonus video, you guys. Two uploads in a row. Who am I? I don't know, but let's go ahead and pop into the drive thru. Hi, will you have yours in a mobile? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, will you order? Um, could I get the Cajun, or sorry, the Bacon Cajun Ranch Deluxe, please? Eh, what kind of drink you like? Um, I'll just do a water. Oh, you don't want a combo? Yeah, I'll do a combo, but just like a bottle of water, please. Bottle of water? Yes. All right. Any get Yes. Could I get the bacon Cajun ranch McCrispy, just the sandwich? Okay, I'm sorry. The first one, it was deluxe or just the regular one? Um, The deluxe. Okay. And then the and then... second one, just the regular, please. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Can I also get a six-piece chicken nuggets with hot mustard? All right. And that's gonna be it. First in the whole meal, please. Thank you. It's gonna be twenty-one forty-seven. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, you guys. I gotta say, I am pretty sad. <laughs> Pretty sad that we did not get the items that the UK got. I don't understand because you know what I will say. Every country out there gets so many new items at McDonald's and the US rarely gets new items. Like don't get me wrong. We get the fun adult happy meals. We get the celebrity collabs which are you know those are a good time. But in terms of actual new food items I feel like we get more new sauces than we do actual new items. Okay so these sandwiches are actually not like incredibly expensive. The combo is weirdly expensive. So the Bacon Cajun Ranch Deluxe McCrispy combo was $10.39. But then the Bacon Cajun Ranch McCrispy, not the deluxe version, but the regular, just on its own, was $5.59. Which honestly isn't bad. I figured that sandwich would have been like six, seven bucks. But $5.59 for that sandwich? It's actually pretty good. I really should have used my app, but I completely forgot. And then whenever she asked me if I wanted to use my app, I wouldn't have had time to like pull up the number and you know mcdonald's is very busy right now so i don't want to hold the line up but okay i'll check in with you guys once we get the food hi thank you thanks you too all right you guys we have secured our mcdonald's bag let's get parked and dive in to these crispy chicken sandwiches i cannot wait Ooh, and some nuggets oh my gosh i totally forgot to ask if they had spicy wow <laughs> so we have oh my ariana grande started blasting <laughs> Here are the delicious McDonald's french fries. Yes, we love ourselves some McDonald's fries. Ooh, these are hot, fresh, and crispy. These are so good. 
They made these kind of like extra crispy today. Mmm. Okay, da 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 da. Oh my gosh, they didn't give me my nuggets. Oh heck no. I'm going inside. Okay guys, I am now back. I got my chicken nuggets. And then here are the Bacon Ranch McCrispy sandwiches. Ooh. Okay, that actually looks like a super delicious sandwich. So this is the regular version. And then we also got the deluxe version. I did get my hot mustard. <laughs> they remembered the hot mustard, but they forgot the chicken nuggets. Ooh, oh my gosh, this one is giant too. Look how big that is, whoa. That is a ginormous sandwich, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna try the regular McCrispy first. This is what it looks like up close. There we go. The sauce looks absolutely delicious. Okay, that's really good. Mm. Okay, something about the flavor of that sauce, it's a very different flavor. We don't really know how to describe it. It almost kind of tastes like, this is gonna sound so weird, but it kind of sounds like a seafood broil style ranch. Like a shrimpy ranch. And that's probably just the Cajun flavor. <laughs> it's very interesting. Super delicious though. I do really like it with the pickles. Mm -mm -mm. Also, how cute is this shirt? <laughs> got a little bunny and two bows. I got it from PacSun. I love their shirts. I also got a Post Malone shirt, which when we went to the Post Malone concert, we got merch. But the problem with our t-shirts is like, the bigger you get, the t-shirt gets way longer. Whereas I like really boxy t-shirts. I also like my t-shirts very oversized and I kind of like the long, like long droopy sleeves. So whenever you size up in his merch, it just gets really long. It doesn't get like that nice boxy wide fit. But the t-shirt that I got from PacSun, was actually really wide and boxy. It wasn't like that annoying long t-shirt, which I really liked. So, yeah. <laughs> also, if you guys need a scary movie recommendation, let me suggest to you Cobweb. I watched it on Hulu. It's probably available on other streaming platforms, but I saw it on Hulu. And oh my goodness, you guys, I don't usually get scared easily. Scary movies rarely scare me. Don't get me wrong, a good jump scare and I'll be like, ooh, you know, like, whoa. <laughs> but I don't get long lasting fear from scary movies. This one, we watched at nighttime, it had me up. <laughs> it had me up, up. So I put it on before bed because I didn't think it was going to be that scary. Gabe ended up falling asleep before the ending even happened. So by the time the movie finished, he was already asleep. I cut the movie off. It's all dark in the room. I'm like looking around, kind of spooked out. I ended up having to turn the TV back on and falling asleep to a podcast. because I couldn't stop thinking about the movie. <laughs> so if you want to watch a good movie with a good storyline that's also pretty spooky, 
Definitely recommend cobweb. Okay, now let's try the deluxe version. I actually don't think I'm going to like this one more than the regular. I feel like the regular is going to be my preferred one. Because this one is, I mean, it's big, but it's super messy with like the lettuce. The bacon is just falling out the side. Mm-mm. <laughs> This one's too much to eat. Mmm. 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 This one's good. I do like it. I need to get a bite with the tomato. But I think I prefer the pickles. Mm. Okay, that tomato is really good. That was a very delicious bite. I love that sauce. Also, I finished season two of The Traders, the UK version. So now I've watched all of the US, all of the UK, and now I'm trying to decide should I watch the Australian version next or New Zealand. Let me know what you guys suggest. I looked up a few suggestions and a lot of people were saying that Australian version is a little bit too like, it seems overly scripted, but I don't know if that would like turn me off. So let me know either Australian or New Zealand or if they're both good and I should just watch both, but I'm just wondering what to watch next. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the traders that show is so good and every single time I'm watching it when Gabe gets home because I get off of work like an hour before him and plus he gets to drive home <laughs> so I always have it turned on whenever he gets there and he's like you are really watching the traders again how long is this show and I'm like well there's multiple seasons <laughs> I gotta watch all the seasons Well, this McDonald's is so good right now. <laughs> I'm so sad we can't try the Biscoff items, though. I hope they bring them to the U.S. Eventually. I feel like they may, but there's really no telling. This cherry berry frosted lemonade. Wow, it's so good. It's actually going so well with these McDonald's items. Okay, I'm gonna take another bite. This end of the sandwich is so good. Mmm. I do think though I prefer the one with pickles. I burnt my tongue on those french fries and now I have a huge air bubble on the roof of my mouth. You can like feel it. Those french fries were really hot at first, but man, they were good. Something about McDonald's fries I always crave. I legit crave them all the time. Mm. Wow. One last thing that I'm going to breach with you guys before 
I'm gonna go. <laughs> So as y'all know, Gabe and I bought a house and we ended up moving to a different town. Well, it's not that I don't like this town, I do. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it besides the fact that it's definitely overpopulated. I think that's like the main thing about it that I don't like is just how overpopulated it is. But I don't know, I'm, I'm so grateful for our house, like truly so grateful. But I miss our old town so much. I was talking to Gabe the other day and I was like, honestly, I really miss our old town. I wish we still lived there. I wish we would have bought a house in that town instead of the one that we currently live in. There's a lot here, but at the same time, there's nothing here, if that makes sense. Like, if you know, you know. If you live in a small town, but it still has a lot of stuff, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, it's very small, but... There's just so many people. So many people. I don't get how so many people can live here. At least it just feels like a lot of people live here. Because it's like a smaller area. But it's just so packed. So packed. And I just miss like the restaurants in our old town. Which we still go to our old town like on the weekends. Because it's really not far at all. I mean, you can get there in 25, 30 minutes, depending on what part you go to. I would say on average, it's about like a 30 minute drive, depending on traffic and all that. So it's not far, but obviously if you're just quickly running out, you're not going to want to drive like 30 minutes taking a busy highway to get somewhere, you know? But I will say since moving, Gabe and I have been cooking way more, which we did cook at our old spot a lot. But we have been cooking every single night of the week. Even on the weekends, we've been cooking. Like Sunday night, we've been cooking. So we usually cook like Sunday through Thursday. And then Friday and Saturday, we'll maybe eat out. So we have been cooking a lot more, which is good. I'm trying to tone up for our beach trip. Um... I've been going on walks every day. I really want to get a treadmill. If you guys have any suggestions for a treadmill at home, let me know, please. Because I really want to start just working out every day on the treadmill at home because that's just faster and easier. But yeah, Gabe, Gabe actually got a workout bench and he was showing me like different things that you can do on it. So I was doing sit-ups and I did them for a while. I haven't done sit-ups in probably years. Because I usually, I'm a cardio girly. I usually do cardio. Oh my goodness, I was so sore. And then I pulled a muscle because of, of being sore. Like whenever, you, you know whenever you're like so sore and you move and it hurts. Like if you overstrain it, I guess you can like pull something. I don't know. So first I was sore in my lower like stomach area. And then I tried to like sit up in bed and I ended up like pulling a muscle. I don't know. I'm not meant for actual workouts. Like, I just just give me my cardio. <laughs> That's all I can handle. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to say these bacon Cajun Ranch McCrispies are Daisy approved. I really like the sauce. If you like kind of like a shrimp Cajun-y flavor, I think you'd really like these sandwiches. And then, yeah, everything else was good. Side note, cherry berry Chick-fil-A frosted lemonade. Very delicious. Check that out as well. But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you all for watching. Please drop a thumbs up down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.